Now, the, uh, the extension of the functionality is really based on the attribute value pairs. And um, it's not just the diameter protocol that uses uh, these uh, attribute value pairs. If you think about how a protocol works, a protocol is used for standardized communication between um, like two systems, any protocol. And it's, you could think of it like um, um, a piece of paper with lines drawn so you have some boxes. So let's say I have a piece of paper with 12 boxes. Now in those boxes, I've defined what type of values can go in these boxes. So in box one, I can um, have, you know, maybe one or a zero. Box two, I'll ha I need to have a certain type of flag. So I have the, this piece of paper with this box, and there's, and you, when I send over the piece of paper to you, you fill in those um, boxes with the, in, whatever the empty variables are. So you take your information, you put it in those boxes, and you send it back, and then I interpret it. That's how all protocols work. They basically have a, a, a structure that says, this is the type of information I need. It sent, goes over to the other computer. The, that computer puts that information in. It comes back, and then that information is read. So depending upon how many boxes you have will depend upon how much functionality um, that could take place. So where Kerberos really has like, a, it works off an 8-bit model, um, Diameter works off a 32-bit model. And what that means is it has a lot more boxes, which means you can have a lot different types of communication. And so it has boxes that can understand um, uh, EAP, uh, digital certificates, Kerberos, uh, where the RADIUS protocol didn't have all those boxes. It only had um, boxes for PAP and CHAP uh, and EAP. Uh, diameter has um, basically boxes to understand uh, voice over IP and uh, mobile IP, where RADIUS didn't have that in its protocol. So that's how Diameter uh, is, has more functionality because it works on a protocol that has a higher bit. It's a 32-bit uh, model, and it has all of these what's called attribute value pairs. And that just means that it has in, in, in a box um, a specific uh, label, and then the receiver is going to uh, uh, fill in that empty variable of what that, that information is. Now I don't know that the you know the CISSP exam is not going to get that deep into what exactly an attribute value pair is, but you could see that term and you don't you wouldn't know what it actually meant. Uh, so what you need to know about diameter is that it is a centralized uh, access control administration protocol. It is a successor to Radius. It has uh, two uh, parts to its protocol. It's got a base protocol, and then it's got extensions, which will allow the different types of technologies um, to use it. Um, and it, it, it works on a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, model. That's, those are the basic types of information you would need to know.